A lot of excuses coming out of Nidhi Sanji's sister's mouths. We also have possible legal troubles when it comes to the voices of graduated livers and more things like comparisons between Hololive stuff and Nidhi Sanji's AR. That and more on this VTuber episode. Well, this person here, as we know, there are people who take things a little bit too uh, seriously, I guess, when it comes to the AR lives. And uh, this person was saying that the lighting was amazing. Uh, the way it reflected off the models was realistic. The best you can see in the VTubers concert, that is a stretch. If you look at Hololive, if you look at any Holofest, it's not the best you can see. Heck, even some uh, indie 3Ds are better than what they showed here. Long couple of years to see the likes of Ethereum, Luxium, Noctix in 3D. However, the quality was outstanding. People were saying the waves of Rainbow Endo, Uki Violetta, Sleeves, Christmas of Sunday Briscoe, and Alvin Knox. This person is like, I don't know what's going on. They've been drinking too much of the Kool-Aid, I think. There's not a single dud in the set list. <clears throat> Rose Me, Diamond City Lights, Uki Violetta's Deja Vu, yet even Sutomo showed their sexy side with Ifudodo, both pastel and vivid stage had energetic highs and powerful lows, seen a number of VTuber concerts, birthday lives, full on stadium performances, apparently not enough, because even Miku Expo, which I've been to, looks better than what this showed. None of them come close to Nidhi Sanji and put on, it's hard to explain why, maybe it's the length, maybe it's the raw quality, raw quality, uh, kind of... That's kind of a secondary word for bad quality. Uh, or maybe it was just the fact that the livers had fought so hard. Well, I mean, you can see that, the emotional part. I can see that, but not the actual just objective side. So do yourself a favor, buy a ticket and watch the VOD. My words cannot do colors justice and the Nidhi Sanji and livers deserve the support. You're not supporting the livers per se there because remember, they get very little from this type of stuff. They don't even get, they maybe still get part of that 2% cut for that type of merch stuff. So they're not getting hardly anything. Nidhi Sanji is getting it. I guess if you want to think that supporting Nidhi Sanji by extension is supporting the livers, then you can do that. Shani disagree with their take on the models being the best you'll see in a VTuber concert when Hololive and Shoto plus Usan concerts exist. Sunny, Anna, and Shu were the ones I liked while Uki, Raymond, Vox, and Luca models were bad. It looked like they stole some random MMD models, make a Miku dance from the DA and slapped them on uh, Niji characters onto and call it a day. Also, the lighting need to be need to see that one in motion because all the screenshots I've seen so far look awful. I've seen small indies with better 3D models, like I mentioned. Before Mirai definitely have better 3D models. Even Kudo Scuff 3D model on Hollow Stars EN had better lighting rigging. Yeah, I'm like I'll I'll, I'll Alistair's? Alistair's? Alistair? He had Al he had Gavis Battle, all those people, they had better 3D lives. Uh, who wrote this article? Probably Ducky the... Oh, people, Ducky is the person that really, you know, likes Niji Sanji. It's whatever this guy wants to glaze the Niji Sanji concert, but it's called the concert the best, and comparing it to other VTuber concerts, just plain salty. Yeah, I've seen Holofest, if you look at any of the free Hololive 3Ds, uh, like their summer fest and that type of stuff, it is way better, like way better by large margins better. It's just, and I'll show you right, you know, if you look at everything, if you look at everything, if you absolutely look at everything, then yes, it's not better. This is one thing I wanted to show you. This is the Niji quality. This is like bad quality. I don't know why they decided to do it this way. Um, I can understand 2023 when it was originally done was maybe not the best. And if you don't want to spend a hundred dollars, you know, a hundred percent of the money that you should, it is going to look pretty bad. There are tons of pictures you can see out there, tons of screenshots you can see out there with showing how bad these things are. But yeah, that's just one of the comparisons I want to show you. Here's one thing I wanted to, to uh, do a little bit of comparison right here. As um, you guys know, I do like doing comparisons occasionally. Here are the glowing ones, which uh, basically are kind of just like, I don't know if they're radioactive or what, but holy crap that the, uh, the reflections on their faces, like the reflections on their body, it really does seem unnatural. And you'd think, okay, you know, it's a 3D. Maybe it's going to be unnatural because it's a 3D. I thought that until I saw things like this. This is Hollow Lives second anniversary ticket theme Adventure Holic for Hollow Lives Summer 2023. You're saying, oh, well, yellow light is a little bit easier to do, right? Well, here we have this. Where they're in, oh, not that part, but they're in here. You see the reflections here? And this is strong light. And what do they do? They give them like a, a, a small bit of reflection, a small bit of bluish hue to it. Here we go. Strong lights around. It doesn't look like it, they're freaking glowing of the color that's around them. Again here, with Toa having a strong backlighting. But look, she still has the little bit of hue of the colors there. So that's the thing there. Like, no matter what colors, look, this is the, the this is a, a summer thing. So, of course, they're going to have bikinis. But, like, this is more of a pinkish. They give them a little bit of a pinkish hue there. But a hue. Okay, here's a more direct comparison. Look, here's purple. Purple. They give them a little bit of purple hue. They give them a little bit of a white hue. They give them, give, look, the, the, the pink over here, they show it towards the front. They're just, it is just done way better. And you're telling me that what we saw is better than this? You're telling me what this is here is better than this, as some people on, on Niji Sanji have been saying? I don't think, like, just look at the reflections. 
look at the lighting, look at the shadows, I'm not even looking at the bikinis or anything, but look at the shadows, look at the textures. They spent time on this. They didn't spend time on this. This looks like a, quite literally, like they're radioactive with some purple goop. It's what it looks like. It's a shame, really, because the livers don't deserve this, to be honest. It was a little bit this without music, of course, but um, because this is a birthday concert. But let's take a look at her chibi birthday concert here. Of course, like I said, this is her chibi birthday concert. Look at that. That was better than anything that was recently done. Pomu was there in the background. Here's, you know, Pomu, Rosami, uh, you know, doing the chibi thing. That was better than the AR concert that was done recently. Like, it's still, like... Even that was way better. I mean, seriously. Of course, you know, there's some uh, syncing issues with their dancing and stuff, but th they aren't professional dancers. Uh, as we know, Nidhi Sanji doesn't spend any money trying to get them to have, you know, choreographers or anything like that. So this is their own personal choreography, most likely, that they did. And they're trying to make it work. So that doesn't have any issues. And also, I think, and also even in some professional idol ones, it is normal for, like, the lead to be in a different choreography than the others the others are it's like a background choreography when the main also has their own choreography so it could be very much that too and i don't take it as anything negative but that's just giving you a little bit of an example of actual choreography and of actual work done before they are live that you know it's not all bad uh but the air live is just because of the fact that they had to pay for it this one was a free one the fact that they had to pay for it to see it is a real shame like it should have been free with the crappiness that they showed this here is kind of the one, the only, the famous Kanauru, who has done a lot for Hololive. Let's take a look at what this one person has done compared to the whole Nidisanji 3D AR Live. Let's take a look in a bigger stage. Here we go. We're going to mute that because music. But still, look at this. Look at look at how beautiful that looks. This is Kanauru doing it. This is one person doing this in a birdcage. Like, look at this. The movement of their, the movement of their faces, the movement of everything. It's just, it's amazing. I'm just, I'm just astounded by how good this one person is. It's gorgeous. Like even dancing, even the, the like, like the, 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 the meme dancing they put it in there. But look at their feet. Like, look at that, man. No, I'm not gonna sing that right now. Uh, but look at that. That's freaking insane. It is absolutely insane that they're doing that. Um, and the, that's that's the thing that I that I take a look at. Um, that all that thing they have compared to the AR Live, which is cheaper. I mean, it, it's obviously cheaper. It's cheaper to have Kanauru do it, but uh, the AR Live, they didn't do a good job at all. It's a, he is a billionaire leading, heading a team of the finest animators in the world and has three years to create this and look at it. Hair down, even reflect the light. And when do this case, it flies over some people's heads and sarcasm. It's ending sarcasm that he's not a billionaire. I mean, where the purple haze filter? Can't he even do that to elevate the masterpiece of Kurosanji's AR? The Kanauru, he's Dancing Iris, Nidhi can't stop that. It's his gift to Bibu's birthday, according to the post he did in Hololive Link. Kanaudo's stuff is always pretty good, and he pretty much stopped doing anything related to Nidhi since Selen termination. Besides two videos, a compilation of Selen, moments from his previous videos, and last message from Pomu. Both are great, so I would recommend you watch them. Also, yeah, Kanaudo is amazing. Kanaudo is amazing. And this is one person doing it, by the way. This isn't just like a huge corporation getting an AR live. This is actually just one person doing it. So, of course, support Kanauru, support good creators like this. And, of course, I'm not saying anything against the artists and the people who did the AR Live, just that they were probably paid bottom dollar, and that's why they didn't do the great amount of work they could do if they were paid, like, two or three times as much, you know? Again, showing a little bit of incompetence going on with Niji Sanji and the AR Live sections. Um, why do they have her glowing like this? Like, she's actually, like, the, the, the top right is the only one looking kind of okay. Uh, the bottom left, like, all the bottom ones, they look freaking weird. They look glowy. They look like a weird situation. It looks like, I don't know, it doesn't look, like, natural. I mean, of course, it's not going to look natural. It's a 3D. I understand that. But it looks like she's, like, a slime. Like, the bottom right looks like she's a slime. Like, she's a slime character. Uh, and the other one, she looks, like, fully just green, green. The other one, like, the colors, they just bleed too much into her skin. They bleed much into a lot of things. It's just, it doesn't make sense to me. It's, like, really weird, man. I, they, they, they did her wrong. They did her, they did her bad. Like, like, look at this. She looks like a slime there. Some of these look okay. Like, the whiter ones, the ones with white light, look a little bit better. But, like, this one over here, she looks like a freaking slime. And this one over here, too. It looks weird. Like, ah, if it was a camera issue too, still, they did bad with the camera stuff. I mean, seriously, I cannot. Like, look at this. Look at these pictures. She looks like a freaking slime. She's glowing. She looks like a glow-in-the-dark finana. What the hell are they doing? It's of a mysterious occurrence, or, or Mista Rias occurrence, uh, 
where people heard his voice in a concert. And K9 Kudo, as we know, is the former Mysterious. I think it's, I think I was sleepwalking or something because apparently people heard my voice at a concert. It says, editing people out instead of just re-recording is amazing in the worst sense possible. Enough, but it actually turns out to be correct. They effed up even that. They also left Pomo singing in. Incoming self suspension for Ike. Honestly, he's the only one to give a second chance to because he looked like he was not, like a lot of people look like, say that he looked like he was being forced to. Is he dumb or does he generally want to get himself Trotskied by the Big Black? I would want to say that after being the only one realizing a hit piece management is having you do. Yeah, Ike, Ike is, is just, he had to do that, I guess. How did Niji Sanji let something like that slip into the concert? The tweet is real, it's not a slip. It is intentional, probably, because they still wanted to make money off of his voice without having to use his actual image. It's actually true. Then I have no words. The incompetence is crazy. This is gold. It, was it the same with Doki Bird during the song Blackout, or did they just not sing it? They actually did, and people are just hearing things. It's going to be open to a lawsuit. They need to pay the employer the talent for the performance they did. Exactly. You need to be paid for the performance, for royalties of the performance. They can go after it if they really wanted to. Apparently, Pomo's voice was also in there. And just read the Nidhi sisters and Ike's replies. She's still here with us. One big happy family. We miss her so much. I don't even have words. And therefore, like, we hate Pomo for leaving Niji. We miss you, Pomo. Come back to us. Make up your mind. That's what people are saying. Such an insane incompetence. That's crazy. I cannot believe they didn't re-record and they cut the talents out of the visuals. What the F? They didn't have the time to re-record. They only made a decision to publish this show after quarter three reports because they wanted to make more money. So that's the big thing. They wanted to make more money, so they didn't do the re-recording, which they could have easily done if they already have, you know, the studio and that type of stuff. They could have re-recorded a lot of stuff, uh, but they didn't. And that's the problem. That's the issue that I see. That is not good. And they should have fixed that. And it is not fair to the talents that aren't there anymore. Another... Now, this can turn out to be a big legal problem for people like Nidhi Sanji because you're talking about royalties, you're talking about people who are no longer in a contract with you, who have graduated or been terminated or whatever, and are no longer in a contract with you unless you had a contract that says you can use their voice in perpetuity for the specific one. I don't think that their voices should be able to survive something like this, even if it was done during the time that they were contracted because you brought it out after they were contracted. So I think they can even do copyright claims on it at that point for using their voice in this if they wanted to go that far. Again, I am not a lawyer, but this is from what I know and what I've heard about it. So uh, it, according to what it said, Mr. Nina and Pomu can be heard and Ren even said Nina. So basically AR was just someone pressing play on a YouTube playlist. Uh, I wonder how it worked for authorizations. Like if those three had to be featured, had to agree to be featured in the AR after they graduated. Or they willingly agreed to that they were asked after the fact or whatnot. They may have had one of those contracts that you sign at the end saying we can still use your voice, etc. Because they were thinking of moving the AR live. Or the lawyers might have just been dumb and not had anything at all. Uh, it could very well be that the lawyers were dumb and they didn't know what they were doing. And they didn't go and actually make a, a contract for the AR live so that they can use their voice whether they're in it or not. Do note that I have no clue about 3D editing, song editing, nor video editing, so I am only listing what I managed to find on Twitter and 4chan, uh, is that when they were redoing and removing segments, each segment and song was not separated into separate files. Oh, nice. With each liver singing their lines as their own file, but rather one big file with all of them in their voice track with no separation between them. As such, it will be extremely difficult, if not impossible, to remove certain livers' voices with the songs without having to redo them completely. Because if it is other livers mixing in with their songs, or mixing in with the, the background uh, music, if it wasn't just like an acapella that was added onto the song, then yes. If they didn't have a separate voice track, and they didn't have separate tracks for each and every liver, then it's really hard to remove. It's I, I've noticed that with my my videos, it's really hard to remove. Because of this, Niji decided to remove segments that include Selene instead of redoing them without her. And because of the difficulty of removing individual livers from the songs instead of redoing them, they just kept the graduated livers' voices in. For the talking segments, they removed all of the ones that included Selene and all of the graduated livers as they would have had to redo it from otherwise as not being seen as important or not worth it. This resulted in different segments length between the boys and girls being quite large, but the girls having about 40 minutes of talk and singing footage and the boys having about two hours of said footage. The reason for this is because the girls' segment had to remove Selene, Nina, and Pomo from them, while the boys' segments only had to remove Mista. And yeah, that's the issue. Like I said, there might be a licensing issue. There might be a royalties issue. We got to see what happens. Uh, I don't think, e even if there is, I don't think Mista and them even care at this point. I think they just want to be done with Nidhi Sanji and never go back. And here is something for uh, all the Pomodachis. Uh, someone inserted Pomu where they were most likely going to be in the video. So in order to give an idea of how it would be if Pomu was actually still there, 
and still allowed to be in the video. So that is assuming Pomo was in that section. That was, I believe, an empty section at that point. And it's, you know, uh, strangely empty. Um, you know, that type of thing. Uh, so she's in a better place. Something about rendering. I have this song, Plastic Love, stuck in my head now. It's oiled up. The quality is questionable. The quality is questionable because I think it was just an insert. I think that this was an insert. If it's an actual one, you guys let me know. But I think this was an insert. It's still nice little to, to you know, see this here. Um, I'm just saying it's an insert because of the different quality and the different lighting and the different shininess of everything. So, yeah, it's still a nice little uh, what could have been if home was still there. Need these sisters seethe with uh, Doki Bird, apparently. Uh, it makes me laugh whenever I hear the defense because Doki never even said who bullied her, Nidhi Sanji. And Nidhi Sanji threw gas in the flames and implicated their own livers. They did, not, not, uh, because Doki was doing it privately. They could have just let her graduate peacefully, but no, they had to terminate her and admit her to breaking NDA laws. She's mentally ill, that's what people say. Okay, so Vox, so by your logic, we should, uh, believe what he says either, because also Vox supposedly has issues. Plus, it's not even really confirmed that he actually has BPD or not. She has no proof. Yeah, because releasing an entire document with people actual names and addresses that were only meant to be seen by legal teams is super legal. She's not dumb like Nidhi Sanji and others, uh, you know, and doing something that would be illegal. And even without that, we, what we've seen in Niji trying to smear Doki when she tried to come back with the black screen stream, that's like the VTuber equivalent of dumping pig's blood onto a prom queen. Exactly. Literally every member of Luxium had mental health issues. Vox is an alcoholic, according to this person. I don't, I can't verify the veracity of that. Uh, Luca has confirmed himself to, that he has ADHD. Um, you know, I have my own issues myself, so I can definitely understand. I actually used to be her Twitter profile on Doki Bird before she joined Nidhi Sanji, so I would consider that enough confirmation. But really trying to use that to justify literally anything that's happened, what a joke. Yeah, don't use someone's mental uh, situation to try to justify uh, any kind of abuse towards them. It would justify any kind of mistreatment towards them. Um, you know, it's not really good. And and trying to say that they're unstable because of that, that's not fair either. We already have tons of people that have spoken their character and what she's like to talk to, work with, etc. Feels like these people take the same view towards mental illness that Japan does. Anyway, who has them? It, anyone who has, who has them is subhuman with no rights, just plain doesn't exist. And that's how it's seen in a lot of places in the world, unfortunately. Instead of using that to attack her, people should be questioning why the company wasn't offering extra support, like extra psychological support, to make sure she was in a healthy mental state. Especially considering she was far away their most popular female streamer. And we now know that the companies and event organizers for conventions currently working with Doki had been trying to ev to talk to her and to uh, while she was back in Nidhi Sanji uh, and have her at the conventions and stuff, but they were being shut down by Nidhi Sanji. Uh, so instead of supporting her, trying to help her keep her in a good mental state, they were turning her down. They were turning any requests that they had for her down. Outside organizers to work with her all while lying to her, telling her she was worthless without the company when they already knew exactly how popular she was. You know, that's 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 mean. That is vindictive. That is um, just stuff that we've heard from Pomu as well of them doing that type of stuff. That is why I have my issues with Nidhi Sanji management overall meme as they've been memed to death recently of course they're going to keep being memed to death but this is a nice little ar live meme going on uh we have riku tazumi right here he says yeah that's one good looking air like 3d concert talking about hollow fest and this specific one um why doesn't mine look like that and you know showing all the crappiness of theirs why doesn't it look like that why doesn't it look like this hollow fest because you didn't put any money towards it you freaking did the bare bones stuff that maybe an indie vtuber would do when they don't have very much money it's like yeah of course yours is, yours is gonna, isn't gonna look like that look you have petra having a freaking giraffe neck for god's sakes the only one that looked semi-decent was fulgur but that's because he uses live 2d like the other ones look at vox he looks weird that's like a weird uwu character i don't know it looks like something that was probably rendered in blender for like five minutes or something i don't know man uki looked okay but the other ones they looked like too shiny over here the, the, the purple was weird it was just it was really off and it was off-putting so yeah i it's just they should have never done something like this this is a shame that they did something like this that they tried to uh push this off as something professional moving on to this one it's another little meme not featuring their greatest single such as there is no bias in niji sanji the rats uh you have alira of course you have millie you have um ike and is that that looks like uki as well and uh Vox, you know, all the all the people who, who yeah, there's no favoritism. There's absolutely no favoritism, of course. And this one is on Niji Sanji subreddit, and it's most likely going to be deleted by the time you find it. So that's why I have it here. So you guys can take a look at it and see, yep, these are all the people who have uh, kind of done something to tarnish the name of Niji Sanji, or at least said something dumb recently, which a human will do. But it's funny to look at the memes. Here we have uh, Niji Sanji announcing a new project where they have a duet song every month. This is concerning. 
because this is what they want to do. This Niji Sanji Yen official. What is Niji Encounter? It's a new project where every month two Niji Sanji Yen livers team up with music creators to release a brand new original song. The first song, Infinity by Shu Yamino and Sonny Briscoe, drops on May 12th. Music and lyrics by veteran K pop artists Willie Weeks and Kyler Nico, who collaborated with groups like BTS. I wonder if they actually paid them a good amount of money. So we will see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, of course, it is strange that they're trying to do this now. They never cared about idol, idol culture before. They never cared about having idol anything before. It's really strange that they are trying to go through this now and trying to do something on this now because it's like you never worried about this in the past. Why are you worrying about this now? And it seems like a lot of money is being spent to try to re-up their image, probably for quarter four more than anything. For those who don't already know, Ghost Data lost all rights to the music he produced for one of Needy Talents. He deleted who he worked with, so don't go looking. Now, yes, this was due to not checking the contract, but there's also another producer named Kira, a popular English producer who came out before the Niji incident and cited that he was financially screwed over by a big JP corporation back in 2023. Now, Kira didn't come out about it. However, when I did my own research, all signs point back to Niji on from how the music released timeline and the eventual revelation of how they severely messed up their payment plan with artists. In short, I have very little confidence in this project, like mustard size, and hope all music artists will be Please be careful. Yes, please be careful. Make sure you have rock tight out, you know, like the freaking album contracts and singles contracts and all that kind of stuff. Because if not, you'll never get paid. We know that through the Selene thing, the Doki thing. A lot of artists didn't get paid. Doki and Selene were the ones that actually paid them. Nidhi Sanji never even gave them contracts to sign. You know, it was bad. Knowing the cost of making an original music video and the fact that artists are now quite aware of Nidhi's level of trustworthiness, I'm eager to see how profitable this project will be. Probably not very much. After being greedy for China's money, of course they now want K-pop money. It's so predictable they avoided the idol label, but just to drive, dive straight into it. That's what I'm saying. They didn't like the, the label. Now they're diving straight into it. It just doesn't make sense. Not gonna lie, this looks so awesome, especially after you see quarter three report where EN don't have any event last year until you read music and lyrics by veteran K-pop artists who've collaborated with BTS because you just realize they actually have or used to have a KR branch, but never got any of this type of attention. Or care in Nidhi Sanji. Yeah, that's also messed up. They did have a KR branch and they were just kind of like tossed aside. Well, because there was bullying and other things that were going on. So they tossed it aside. But it would have been nice for them to get some support as well. This is Shoto and Usan, who used to be part of um, Nidhi Sanji. Unnamed Yugo. Uh, it's a better than AR Live. This is their... their. I'm going to go straight to their, uh, their Twitter. And let's take a look at this. Again, because of music reasons, I did remove the music thing. But look. Their backgrounds look cuter. Uh, they have their own little, you know, virtual avatars. Their little uh, mascots, if you want to call it. Look at that. Of course, the collision with the with the floor is something that's expected. It's not going to be perfect, but their the lighting is way better. Look at the lighting. It's softer. It's better. It's just it's going to look so so much better. I think overall. Just look at the little bit that they show you. You can already see it's going to be much better. Phase Euphoria Shoto X unnamed. They're going to be at uh. Oh, they already did it. Never mind. Uh, on 225, 2024. So they already did it. So it looks like, wait, looks like there was, yeah, this was already done. This was on the 26th. I thought it was something that was going to be shown later on, but also on the 26th of January. So it was already on the, the 25th of February, just looking at the dates. And uh, yes, it is better than the AR Live. Very, very minor nitpick. I wonder if the feet sliding on the ground issue can be resolved by constraining motion near the floor. They might have to constrain motion near the floor because, it, like I said, it does look like the, the feet are sliding. That's a small nitpick uh, because I think that was just done for the actual uh, sneak peek. And it wasn't actually shown in the, the whole thing. But there may have been an actual reason for doing that. Because if they don't have that, then like the friction would work differently. The propel the you know how you get propelled in the environment might work differently. There's a lot of different things that could make it so that they don't they can't do that. And here we have the lack of self-awareness by Vox Akama. Uh bringing back their most hated liver at the moment with the new outfit after all the favoritism allegations too. Will they ever learn? I mean, they have to bring him back eventually. He's their favorite liver. He's their golden goose. He's the one that makes them the most money. So he has made the most lifetime money. He's made over 1 million in, in gross income. 1.5 million, I think it was close to that in gross income. So he's made the most lifetime. And uh, he's their golden goose. So of course they're going to want to give him new stuff. Because Alira's return was just so successful, apparently. Is it her average CCV is like a barren wasteland? I know sarcasm is hard to text for him, but please... I was being sarcastic. I love how the silhouette has a pattern that's red and gold. Same colors as the Chinese flag. Yes, Vox, we know. 
You're on Billy Billy. I do not see a world where this ends well. I try to be sympathetic, but my God, can they not read the room? This is another desperate attempt for Super Chat boost in time for quarter of 2024. Yes. Why would they bring back one of the most controversial livers after Lyric clearly showed it didn't work? It just makes me sad. They have to. Here's the thing. Just thinking about it on a business side. They have to. He is one of their top earners. They are losing money by not having him there. So yes, they're going to take a humongous risk. Yes, it can be very bad for them, but they have to do something like this because of the fact that if they don't, then we run the risk of losing him, one, two, losing the, the people who are waiting for him. Of course, the parasocial, the, the entirely hugely parasocial people, they're going to stay, but the other people who are just casual enjoyers of Vox, they're going to go off to someone else. There's plenty of people who have lower voices. There are plenty of people who do ASMRs that have lower voices. There are plenty of people who do boyfriend experience, so they can go to them. They can stop being kindred and go to them. That's one of the risks that they run, and that's what they don't want to deal with. They don't want to deal with people leaving them. Uh, let's see. They got slapped so hard with all the allegations that they had no choice but to pretend nothing is wrong. Of course. Um, and yeah, all these different things like outfit reveals. Uh, hate to be the bearer of bad news, but while it's true that Fox gets favoritism, outfits are a bad way to prove this. Uh, but yeah, it's like, like I said, they're going to be doing this because they want income. This is an important thing that needs to be said, and that's why I'm having it here. That's why I'm actually putting it here, and that's why I'm actually talking about this. A reminder, how we talk about Niji affects the talents on the inside. Uh, not saying Niji Sanji doesn't deserve criticism, because it absolutely does. I agree it does, but honestly, I feel like people der derive a lot of sadistic satisfaction from kicking a dead horse. I don't support Niji Sanji anymore due to their actions, but I feel bad for the talent still inside enjoy watching. They have to deal with internal company issues as well as everyone in the internet mocking their job and directing constant negativity their way. Now there is where I have a bit of an issue, like I don't want you to uh, knock the livers, but I do want you to be able to criticize the organization. I'm not going to stop criticizing the organization. Uh, the mental health things is really bad. I'm sorry if anything that I've I've done has caused it. I think I'm small enough where it doesn't. But uh, like it, more like a false and a kill would be the ones who would affect more than I would. Uh, I know people claim we care about the talents and want them to leave. But honestly, seeing the tone people have taken over the past few months in the main sub and this sub and Twitter, it's no wonder I have posted a cry for help and why talents like Rosemi have to take mental health breaks. I always see these claims of needy sisters or aunties being behind everything. But I honestly think it would do some good to self-reflect and think about what we post affects talents and read it. Even if those haters don't exist, I think it would be a tough environment for a talent to exist in. Sorry for the rant, but I just wish people had a bit of empathy. At the end of the day, these are people with a job that is rapidly crumbling. We don't know them, but we can at least understand they're under a lot of duress, of course. Of course. Just wish people could uh, chill instead of turning every little thing into a log cow situation. Here's where I have a differing opinion of this person. They don't want us to say anything about the company because, you know, it could hurt the livers. Here's the thing. In my opinion. Again, this is a fierce opinion of mine because this is the way I've been in companies that have had a lot of negativity said about them. But I am just a worker of the company. I am just a peon of the company. I don't tie my worth to the company. I don't tie my worth to the reputation of the company. I never do that. And I never will do that because to the company, I'm just a number. So I never will tie my self-worth to the company. The people who do are the people who end up having problems when their company is, is marked down. And then, you know, they end up having to take breaks. Fine with that. If that's the way you're going to be, it's fine with that. But I don't do that. That's why I can understand why it, if, if Rosami had to do that because of the Niji Sanji drama, I understand her taking a break and I understand how it can hurt her. But I think more... It was, you know, maybe someone was actually criticizing her or maybe she was getting bullied inside the company or something like that. Because I don't personally, I don't see why someone would hold the, their value tying it to a company like Niji Sanji or any company that they work for. Uh, I don't like that she's having that break in the sense of the fact that she had such a mental drop that she had to take a break because she seems to really enjoy streaming from what I've seen. She seems to really enjoy her rosebuds, I believe what they're called. Uh, she enjoys the, the community. She enjoys the people that she, she's with. She enjoys having that time with those people. She enjoys that. And it's sad when you have a mental situation where it drops that bad. So I always have empathy for the livers. I just want them to not tie their worth, their self-worth, their mental health to a company directly. So I want it to be to a point where the company could be S on the whole day and they're going to be fine because they're just workers and they're just doing their things. As long as they don't receive hate. I think what's been happening with Rosamy, this is just my, again, my opinion, is she's probably been receiving hate on Twitter for being part of Niji Sanji. She's receiving hate on her, uh, from people who are dumb, on her streams, 
on any social media post she does because people are going to be dumb and do that even if she's not the one doing any negative things. They're going to be the ones who do that because they want to see the world burn. And that is unfair. One of it's related to the VR Live, I would think she doesn't want to read all the mocking on social media as well as what on her own personal experience with it. After all, the co-worker Selene was a big part of that project and to see it all out. I think that might be it. Might be reminding her of bad times. Criticize the company. Don't harass the talents. That's counterproductive. Not even so much direct harassment as is constant negativity. Like people's obsession with view counts, subscriber losses, and stuff like that. But then again, that's towards the company. It should never, ever feel like a personal attack on the livers. I don't do personal attacks on livers. At least I try not to. I try my best not to. I may have slipped up at one point, And if I did, I do apologize for that. But I try not to do any personal attacks on the livers. Uh, I... I can deride them. I can, you know, make funny funnies about about the the cre the creator, but nothing like, you know, oh, he's a this, he's a that. But you know, I'll do like, oh, Vox did Vox, you know, is wants his kindred. Vox is, you know, doing parasocial things, that type of thing. But I try not to make it too personal. And I'm a small creator, so I don't think it matters very much. But I try not to make it too personal because I am a VTuber myself, and I would hate to get something too personal. I know it hurts because I've been hurt recently for personal attacks, and it can really hurt badly. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.